board was just sort of, I was putting things on my flipboard, and now I flip through it, and I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, that, yeah, that. So it, it gives me access to a lot of things that I might not, because, you know, I'm a, I have everything from Gawker to the Atlantic to mm -hmm. Wired on my flipboard, and so I might see stuff on my flipboard that I would never, ever have thought of finding in a feed or going to the platform. Any other journalists here um, want to talk about like how they find stuff? You know, Peter like is always finding tons of stuff. Oh yeah, Peter is. Oh. Oh. I want to know actually how Peter finds all the stuff. Can Peter, I stand, stand up. Peter. This no. is at, yeah, at Media Labs. <laughs> no, 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 but how do you... So now I just build stuff. Because Peter's always like, oh, look at this article that I just read. And it's like, I am even like six I things. Mean, since we built Seesaw, and I use that for everything. For example, when the same was happening, or the stuff in Israel was happening, because I can curate every stream in a way where I can really focus it. You know, I'm a huge Twitter fan, but there's so much noise in there. So one of the biggest problems in curation is how you filter the noise out. And especially being able to curate in real time Are you saying you curate hashtag, hashtags or? Absolutely. Yeah. So, curating hashtags. Mm -hmm. That's, if you think about hashtag, hashtags, is, and I guarantee in the next years, uh, in the next few years, the hashtag is now going to become the most important atomic element of relevance, period. Because it's all mathematical equations now with the growth of social media and the mass fragmentation that it's causing that if we don't change the signal to noise ratio and start creating more signal, that it all becomes. Well, and hashtags yeah. also aren't just on Twitter because they're on Instagram. Well, they're, 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 they're like, you only yeah. find stuff on Instagram through so, hashtags. You know, if you're, plots, if you're using pictures. hashtags and tools where you can, like what we started doing with Seesaw, being able to do searches of a hashtag that just pull off of YouTube. And by the way, you can suck videos and watch them in the real time streams, or you're doing a hashtag or, you know, of Instagram, you can really start filtering and focusing and just do amazing curation. I mean, that's why Abby. Machine because it's enabling her to do things that we've never been able to do before. And then a lot of the biggest you know, backers of Twitter now, like Robert Scoble, basically say you know, that if we don't have tools like these, basically they're going to stop using Twitter because they just cannot filter through so much. Everything's getting lost in it. And I think one of the biggest problems also with our RSS readers, which I don't even use anymore because I have 250 RSS feeds I was trying to read and was all day to just curate them, is having these types of tools and now, these smart tools, and using the algorithms to be able to extract the information that you're looking for out of the streams and being able to filter it. Because really, curation is now going to, and discovery is going to start coming at you 